Timely availability of improved seeds at affordable prices is critical to improving food security resilience and livelihoods for smallholder farmers in Africa. The content of this meeting it is uh, accurate and to, to the point and it will address most of the problem challenges that is facing the South Sudan in food system if it is clearly followed and implemented to the date. The African Seed Access Index, TASAI, seeks to promote the creation and maintenance of an enabling environment for competitive seed systems serving smallholder farmers. So with the assessment, already we know the disease we have. It is like identifying the disease in the seed sector. Now the next is what medicine do we give to cure this disease? I think this assessment is very key, the assessment that uh, Tasai has made. Quite a few things that need to be done, major ones. Uh, one is we really need to look at organizing ourselves and adopt the practices in the region. How do we regulate the seed system or the seed industry in the country so that quality seeds are produced and these quality seeds are accessed by the farmers? That's the most important thing because at the moment there is no law, there is no policy. So anyone can trade in anything and call it seed. The second thing that we need to do as an industry is making sure that we establish a financing system. It is in this enabling environment that TASAI measures and compares across African countries. In each country, TASAI tracks indicators across five broad categories, research and development, industry competitiveness, policy and regulations, institutional support and service to smallholder farmers. The intended outcome is improved access to locally adapted, affordable, and high quality seeds of appropriate varieties by smallholder farmers in sub-Saharan Africa. There are so many different gaps that uh, need to be taken care of, especially the seed policy needs to be completed so that seed system can be regulated and also the area of uh, uh, seed business when you look at the seed companies in the country we need to see how our seed companies can be funded because at the moment there is no funding. I reviewed the report and um, this one is unique because it covers all the aspects of seed. And we know in South Sudan we are having challenges and, and a lot of gap in, in seed sector. So the way of uh, dissemination of, of this report I felt is uh, uh, going to be of a value to the country and to the sector itself. Tasai has completed the first country study in South Sudan in collaboration with the Seed Trade Association of South Sudan. Tasai convened a meeting to disseminate the findings from this country study 27th April 2023 in Juba bringing together key seed industry stakeholders from government, the private sector, research sector, and development partners. My recommendation is A, to double down on the investment in the agricultural sector. Seed is just one of the sectors. There are other areas that are required, for example, fertilizer input, other agro inputs, mechanization, irrigation, they are all areas that complement very well investment within the seed sector. We are looking at the seed sector here and it's one of the key areas that requires these investments, but there are other areas too that the government could explore. I am excited to see the enthusiasm from government that is showing in terms of the representation of government at this meeting signifies that they value the input that is coming out of as an output from this uh, meeting and I wish them good speed in terms of seed sector reform for the country.